What is going on guys welcome back to the channel i'm your host smart19 so in today's video we are back on snow runner and we're going to be checking out a brand new mod by my boy john john hot rod i got the fj builder and behind it i got the fj bruiser i can't wait to check these guys out these things look absolutely awesome uh, but before i do uh, i just got to talk about a few things real quick um, if you guys have been following me on youtube and you've been keeping an eye on my community updates on my youtube page You've probably seen my reasoning why I still don't have expeditions. Uh, so I was out of work for a little while and like a month or so. And when you're out of work, you get behind on everything, car payments, bills, you name it. Um, so I'm still trying to get myself out of this hole. Uh, I'm almost there. The checks are coming in, um, getting caught up. Uh, so I will be on expeditions real soon. It's just going to take a little while. Um, I'm dying to play the game. I can't wait to get the game. I could probably grab the $40 one, but I'm holding off until I can get the big boy, uh, the deluxe version, you know. Uh, I've been hearing real good things from friends and everything, saying that the game feels a lot better. It feels a lot more like Mud Runner than Snow Runner, which has me really excited, so I can't wait to get my hands on it. But until then, uh, so I was on the Mod.io website. I've been keeping an eye on what mods are getting released for Expeditions. And John released this over on Expeditions first, and he almost made me break the bank. <laughs> it was almost his fault, and I was going to be eighty more dollars into the hole because I seen this truck. And I'm not a I'm not a huge Toyota fan. I, I do like Toyotas more than Fords, but <laughs> um, it is a John John Hot Rod mod, and I'm a huge fan. And he almost I almost broke the bank and was going to just pull the trigger and buy the game just to get my hands on this truck. But I bit my tongue, I held off, I, I, I waited, and to my surprise, I checked SnowRunner Mod IO. I haven't checked SnowRunner in a while. I actually had the game uninstalled because I thought I was done with it when Expeditions released. And I seen that he released it over on SnowRunner as well. So I installed the game and here we are. Uh, I was super excited to get my hands on this. I'm glad he brought it over to SnowRunner too, at least so these us poor folk can at least try them out before the new game. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so let's get into this video. I've been rambling on way too much. Uh, so with every time I do a review video, I, I, I talk about this all the time as well, but when I do reviews, I'm more of a fanboy than I am a reviewer. I'm just going to drool over the vehicle because it looks awesome, as does everything John touches. So let's go ahead and just do a quick walk around and just Look at the detail. I mean, all this is, I, I get more excited for the suspension work than I do the actual mod. And just looking underneath it with all, look at all the lines and brake lines and shocks. And it's, it's just friggin' awesome. The level of detail, the little plates with writing on it. I mean, come on, everything. It's just an awesome, awesome truck. So I don't really know what the, what the real difference is between the bruiser and the builder i mean i think i can build kind of the same truck on each body but i don't know maybe there is differences i don't see a whole bunch when i was putting them together but uh just friggin awesome rigs i mean and like i said i'm not the biggest toyota fan in the world but let's go ahead and jump inside take a peek at the interior i get really excited about his interior so this is the builder version and i put Almost every accessory I can put on this thing, I put in it just to really check it out. And just look at that. It screams crawler. But this thing is very utility, very scout. It's got all the all the gas, the, the, the repair kits, everything. So look at that friggin' detail. I mean, come on now. Sorry, I'm just staring and admiring. Just an awesome truck. So let's go ahead and let's do it run. Very badass. Sounds really, really good. Let's see what it's got for animations. So we got the hood. Check out that beautiful V8. It's 
Got the working fan in there, the, the belts and shit. That's awesome. Man, this guy's detail is absolutely insane. I know I do it every time I do one of his videos, but <laughs> I mean, look at the batteries under the tire and shit. That is sick. Friggin' awesome, man. Whoops, I popped the hood again. Let's go ahead and jump inside of it. And let's see what this radar looks like. Alright, so we still got the globe going on. I'm waiting for something new right there, John. I want to see you get creative with this active radar. <laughs> I want to see a big computer screen come out of here or some shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's sick. So let's go ahead and pull this over, and then we'll check out some lighting. Friggin' truck is awesome, dude. Let's go ahead and switch it to night. And let's check out some lighting. So, again, I don't I don't really know if SnowRunner's still having that lighting issue. Um, if it is, John can explain it better than me, but I think it looks pretty good. Maybe it maybe it's something's still off, I don't know. But I think it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and check the inside. Doesn't look as lit up as other trucks, but it still looks awesome. All right, let's go back to day. Shut the lights off, shut the truck off. All right, let's jump over in the Bruiser. So again, basically the same truck. I just obviously, obviously left the top off from this one just to check out some detail up here. The barn, look at the shocks coming up through the bed. That's sick. All the fox truck, all the fox shocks. Look at the difference in like the steel plating on the here and then the body with the color. That is just awesome. The big old charger sticking out of the hood. <laughs> That's sick. Go ahead and start this one up real quick. See what this one's got. Anything different? The power windows. I did roll them down when I first pulled this out. The tailgate. And of course the radar, which we know what that looks like. What a badass truck, man. If there's one thing that'll get me to reinstall SnowRunner, it's a brand new John John Hot Rod mod. I mean, it's worth it every time. This thing is sick. Just awesome. All right, so the map we're on, I know it says mod level, let's go, boys. <laughs> That's just the file name. This is actually my Oxford County Trails, the rebuild for SnowRunner, which as you can see, I haven't done shit for work. I mean, it's still got a long ways to go. Um, I don't know if it'll get built now that Expeditions is released. I kind of fell out of this game when it was getting closer to Expeditions. I thought I was going to be able to buy it, but things, circumstances, you know, with the job. Um, and I kind of lost interest in building this map, but I still might because I don't know how long it's going to be before I get Expeditions. So I might poke at it a little bit more. We'll see. I really would like to get it done because um, it is turning out so far to be a really good map. I just started this hill climb, which is going to be sick. Uh, we'll take a quick spin over there so I can show you what I got going on so far. Uh, but we're not going to go too far. Get obviously, the main trail there, but let's go ahead and take her over around the corner. I'm not going to go for a big long crew, and it's not like I don't want to like reveal the map. <laughs> um, I could actually kind of care less now that Expeditions is released, so um, at some point, like I said, I will get the game. And As far as mapping goes, guys, I'm not like super excited to build maps on Expeditions. I'm just excited to play the game, you know. Uh, I want to start enjoying the community's work more and not spend all my time in the editor. I might, I'm not saying I won't build a map for Expeditions, I might, but um, this time around I just, like Mud Runner, I have over 4,000 hours in that editor and only 700 hours playing the game, so just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I just want to enjoy the community's mods and maps. I'm just watching that suspension and shit. It just looks so good. John is hands down 
one of the best in the community when it comes to mullets, if not the best, you know. I mean, there's all kinds of guys that are really, really good. Like my boy Forces is A+. Plus. He's awesome. He knows it. Um, but the reason I'm drawn to, like, John Mod so much is because he builds exactly what I'm into. I love these rugged-looking crawlers, these badass lifted trucks that he does. It's just me in a nutshell, which is why I think I'm so drawn to his work, you know. Here we go. This would be the... The famous hill climb from Oxford County Trails. That's what it was looking like. I think it was coming out great. It actually looks really good. Um, I just don't know if I want to finish this map or not. Where, you know, it's the kind of the same deal when Spin Tires went to Mud Runner and Mud Runner went to Snow Runner, and now Snow Runner is going to Expeditions. It's just like, is it worth it? You know what I mean? Uh, is it worth it to complete it and then release it? I, I don't know. Uh, it is a really, really good map, though. It was coming out so good. Let's take the builder. And I'm not going to go up that hill. Uh, just in case I do release it, I don't want to, like, reveal a whole bunch. But we'll go up this trail. And probably call it a video. So this is obviously the main trail when you first come into Oxford. Uh, it, it's kind of my premier trail to set the mood, I guess. <laughs> On, on every Oxford County Trails map. And I made like, the hell is it, three three different versions of that map now? The original, the rebuild, no, it's just the two, and then this one, so this one would be the third. What a sick truck. So I don't, I don't know if I already talked about this or not, but Expeditions, everybody's been telling me it feels a lot better. It feels a lot more like snow, uh, Mud Runner than it does Snow Runner. The Scout vehicles actually feel like they have some weight. Uh, if that's the case, I, I can't wait to get my hands on the game. I'm absolutely stoked to get it. Um, you, you might be saying to yourself, well, if you can't afford Expeditions, why have you been playing wrestling? <laughs> the brand new wrestling game. Well. I didn't buy the wrestling game, it was bought for me by a good friend on Xbox. So uh, a good friend bought the game for me because he knows I'm a huge wrestling fan. Sorry guys, I know a lot of people outgrow wrestling, <laughs> but I never did. I'm actually super excited to watch WrestleMania 40, I'm a big wrestling fan, I always have been. Uh, and a good friend of mine on Xbox knows how much of a wrestling fan I am. so. Uh, you can purchase games for people on Xbox as same as you can on Steam. So he went ahead and bought me the game, and he bought me the the big edition, the WrestleMania 40 Years edition, which cost like a hundred and something dollars. I couldn't believe he did that, but uh, I thanked him. It was very, I appreciated it very much, and I haven't stopped playing the game in like a week straight now. Oh, for Christ's sakes, I can't get up over this little hill. <laughs> I ain't got time. Let's do this. I'm really hoping the rocks and everything feel better, and hopefully the tires are a little bit more flush with the rocks when it comes to expeditions. <clears throat> but that's probably going to do it, guys. I just wanted to take a quick spin and really showcase this mod. I mean, like I said, John almost put me in the hole 80 more dollars because just seeing this mod, if it would have been a Chevy, I probably would have bought the game. <laughs> I, I think the only thing that held me back from buying the game just to get my hands on this truck was because it wasn't a Chevy. If he would have released like another K5 or something Chevrolet, I probably would have pulled the trigger. <laughs> but I held off. And like I said, I'm glad he released it on SnowRunner, so at least I got a chance to kind of try it before I get over on that game. There we go, that's a good stop right there. <clears throat> but I think that's going to do it, guys. So John John Hot Rod, you guys know what you're getting every time he releases a build. A+. plus. This thing is absolutely awesome. Love it. Amazing job, dude. I can't wait to see what's next on your plate. Uh... Nobody gets me more excited for a mod than John's stuff. So anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. 
Subscribe if you haven't, and I will talk to you guys again real soon.